Okay, imagine a world where human creativity and artificial intelligence merge, redefining what it means to be human. Raise your hand if you remember the time Apple announced Siri. Okay, now keep it up if you thought it will revolutionize your life forever. Well, certainly I did, but boy, I was wrong. Picture this. 12 years ago, cold night in Germany, and uh, I just picked up my then girlfriend in a car. I was very eager to impress her with this new kind of technology, and it was Apple's Siri. So I just picked up my phone in the car, I was like, hey Siri, call my girlfriend. And Siri responded with all its technological advan advancements very wisely. Which one of them? <laughs> so I lost faith in Siri and my girlfriend lost faith in me. <laughs> but it gets better, the story doesn't end there. She decided to give me uh, one last chance by, of course, asking Siri, Hey Siri, does he really love me? And Siri, now uh, playing relationship counselor, replied in all its wisdom, you are looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> and that was the last time I saw her. And from then on, my uh, relationship with Siri turned into a toxic one. We didn't talk much, but when we did, it always ended up in failed expectations. So, um, yeah, but I'm not alone. It seemed like Apple kind of feels the same, same way about Siri and um, gave Siri this year a, la a much needed brain transplant from ChatGPT. So three years later, uh, at the Peter Thiel Fellowship Summit, I had an epiphany. We are facing the greatest revolution in human history. Forget the industrial revolution, forget oil, forget Bitcoin, forget the internet. We are in a cognitive revolution that will shape uh, humanity itself. Today, AI writes novels, creates art and uh, codes software programs, solves scientific problems. With 200 million monthly ChatGPT users, there's one thing clear. We humans, we starve we crave faster problem solving. Let's look at some predictions and a side note, like kind of predicting the future of AI is a little bit like explaining TikTok to your grandparents. It's confusing, slightly terrifying, and you're not sure if you're doing it right, but brave, very brave Ray Kurzweil, he predicted in 2015 that in the next 20 years, we see technological advancement comparable to the last 265 years. So from 750 to 2015 will be condensed in the next 20 years. And in just three to four years, we will see AI systems that matching human level cognition. And once these systems surpass like the cognitive abilities of a four year old child, they could become 170,000 times smarter than the brightest human being alive in just 90 minutes, given that the energy and power, computing power problem is solved. So to grasp this, we have to think exponentially. If I would take 30 steps, normal steps across this room, I would reach the other side. But if each step of mine doubles in length, I would circle the earth by the 30th step 26 times. The funny an analogy is here that only by the 26 steps, I would have circled the Earth one time, but four steps later, it would be four times. So in this new world, in this new world, speed is everything. During the early days of the pandemic, an AI system identified a potential treatment in just 48 hours, what would have taken humans, uh, human researchers probably years or months. Imagine being the parent of a child with a rare disease and the difference between waiting years for a cure and having one in days is immeasurable. That's the power of AI driven speed. Let's look at how it can transform companies. In one of my companies, we Im implemented AI across our software engineers, Cursor AI. 
for the first two weeks we were slower. But afterwards, we built in nine weeks what previously took us 18 months. In another one, we created last year one of the most viral Facebook ads in Germany. Probably the most viral Facebook ads. 43,000 likes, 30,000 shares and 6,000 comments. Millions in views and in revenue. The idea came from a human, but the execution was partly done by AI and it accelerated everything. From idea to finished result, it was just done in three weeks. So psychologist Howard Gardner proposed that there are eight human forms of intelligence. I propose we add a nine, the technological, technological intelligence. It's not about physical augmentation, but it's about cognitive augmentation, seamless, seamlessly integrating AI into our thought processes and work. It's about who can assemble with all the options available the fastest path from idea to existence. This brings us to what I call the instant idea to materialization theory. The velocity of transforming ideas into reality directly correlates with our competitive edge, economic growth and societal impact. Imagine two e-commerce, mid-size e-commerce companies. The first employs a team of six marketers who spend a month planning a promotion, crunching the numbers, looking the details. With AI, a single marketer can accomplish the same task in just three hours. This isn't a slight edge, but it's a massive unfair advantage. And it compounds. Every hour, every day, every week, the gap widens. AI doesn't sleep. According to Boston Consulting Group, companies already implementing AI see a 2.6 multiple in revenue, 50% in market share growth and 38% growth in EBIT over the next three years. So do we get FOMO? Not this FOMO, but this FOMO, fear of machines outsmarting us. We should because AI will take jobs and AI will take businesses. This is the truth. In 20 months, the world will look totally different. You remember the first steps? We are now at the fifth, sixth step in AI growth. It gets only faster and faster. But remember, with new opportunities, someone needs to handle the AI. So it's good to stay optimistic. This revolution isn't about becoming more like machines. It's about realizing our human potential. We are entering an era where the limiting factor is not technology itself, but it's our human, it's our possibility to imaginate things. It's our imagination. It's no longer, can we do it, but actually can we dream it? Our unique human traits, the ability to see the big picture, our intuition about what questions really matter, our creativity and empathy, these become more valuable than ever before. In the AI era, we are evolving from star players to coaches. Our role isn't to crunch number or code algorithms anymore, no, but to ask the right questions and guide AI towards solutions. It's like being a master chef who doesn't necessarily chop the vegetables or steer the pot, no. It's, uh, it's about knowing exactly what ingredients to combine to create a masterpiece. As technology evolves at breakneck speed, one thing remains constant, our human psychology. Those who can use AI to deliver high quality personalized content at scale while still tapping into the, tap, into the timeless human emotions and connections, these will be the leaders of tomorrow. In this new landscape, personal brands are more in demand than ever before, as you can see here. We are looking for fast answers, but more than that, we are seeking trust, authenticity and expertise. If you look at top YouTube creators like Homozi, Jordan Peterson or Chris Williamson, they all grasp a crucial concept. We now value content intuitively by how much value is transferred per second that we watch. The most successful personal brands are those who can rap rapidly distinguish complex ideas into actionable insights and then distribute them widely and effectively. It's not about becoming a celebrity. It's about becoming a known expert in your field 
to accelerate your business and your career. This is where you come in. The world needs thought leaders who can navigate this new terrain and guide others through it. One navigation system I have developed is called AIM. It means A stands for amplify your unique human traits, drawing connections where others see, just see chaos. I means iterate fearlessly. In the AI age, failure isn't just an option, it's a requirement for success. And M is master the art of collaboration, not just with humans, but also with AI. Now, let's talk about something revolutionary. In the past, building a, a successful brand was reserved for those with deep pockets, uh, pockets and large teams. Yeah. But social media changed it. Now, with custom-built AI tools, we can accelerate all this to a, whole new, to a whole new level. And here's how. So, at first, leverage speed to adapt. AI makes you a trendsetter by finding trends early. In a world that is drowning in content, quality is your lifeline. AI helps you cut through the noise and finds unique insights tailored to your expertise. And third, scale with quantity. One trend, your insights, and in less than five minutes, you have a press release, a blog post, five unique social media posts for each platform written individually and optimized for virality. This trifecta, speed, quality, and quantity, is the holy grail of thought leadership. And now it's within all of our reach. It exists already. The biggest problem is that most people don't know what possibilities already exist with AI. So you are one idea away from your biggest breakthrough. One great prompt that could turn your ideas into thoughts that influence thousands. It's not the big that eats the small anymore. It's the fast that eats the slow. With all this AI, one might ask, what's left for humans? And the answer is everything that truly matters. AI can process information, but only we can create meaning. It can find patterns, but only we can tell stories that resonate on a human level. We stand at a crossroad in human history. In this new world, you have the power to become the person you've always aspired to be, to turn your wildest dreams into reality at superhuman speed. We create this future. One idea, one question, one dream, and now one prompt at a time. So I challenge you today, embrace the AI revolution, not as a threat, but as an opportunity. Start by identifying one area in your life or work where, where AI could amplify your unique voice and help you to achieve more. The cognitive revolution is here. New thinking is required. We must adapt and shed our old, old labels. Today I'm a speaker. Tomorrow I'm the founder of a, a fintech company and the day after I'm a producer and a marketer. Creativity has no limit. In the age of AI, there's only one constant that now is more true than ever before. We are all creators. And my question is, what will you create while aiming high? Thank you.